Alrighty, folks, and I'm back. Where we last left off, we finished up the Corian tidbits, and we now have Tally as a uh, permanent companion. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go talk to her. <clears throat> so yeah, that means we got, like, the full crew from, uh, all the previous games. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Well, then why bring it up? Need anything, Commander? Uh, never mind. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh, there she is. I was gonna say, like, wait, where the fuck's Tally at? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Yeah, <laughs> behind you. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Oh, well, that is pretty neat. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years... With Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Anything else? I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Tally. All right, well, that was nice. So, yeah, it's good to see that the uh, the Geth and the Corians are actually working together. I mean, how you think about it, the uh, Turians and Krogan working together, that's odd. The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Hmm. I think she still wants to... Interview us upstairs. Yeah, who's over here? Oh yeah, that's right, this dude. Another Reaper has died. Indeed. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Hmm. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. And like I said, he just does not give a shit. But yeah, anyways, back to the original point of uh, the Krogan and the Turians working together, along with the Solarians and the Asari. I mean, we only had to bust our asses and kill a bunch of things to get this to work, but hey, there it is. Got the flush. Mmm. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. <laughs> Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. 
Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. Hey, Commander. Oh, all right. That was a thing. Let's see. That's ah, right, yeah, Caden's normally in here. Let's see if Liara has anything for us. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day... The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Sweet. Youngest system. <laughs> Shields plus five or weapon damage. Yeah, let's improve the weapon damage. Power recharge. Did I already like assign all of these? And I'll go with a little bit of a shield bonus. Keep forgetting that Glyph is actually there. Alright, Garrus, what are you up to? Besides calibrations. Shepard, never a dull moment when the Normandy's on tour, is there? Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Mm. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> not really. <laughs> if we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. I guess I can't argue with that. You managed to peace between the Geth and the Corians. Maybe there is another way. I wonder if that's alluding to the choice we have later on. Peace between the Geth and Corians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. They are. Oh, right. <laughs> too. Okay. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. <laughs> now, oh, whoops. Sure having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Not right now. Not right now. 
I've got calibrations to do. I I'm wondering if it cut out his speech about his family. I'm assuming it, like, it was a game glitch. Otherwise, he did have that long pause, so my assumption is no, he hasn't heard from them yet. Which is really fucking sad. Alright. Have any private messages? Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, let's add to my quarters real quick so people can show me their thingies and doodahs. Oh, and I think I fixed the um, Total War Warhammer, so I might actually get a Chaos campaign going here soon. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. Are you in, are you in Shepard's room again? She's got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? <laughs> Deal with it. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? <laughs> this interview is over! The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... <laughs> Foreshadowing. So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about her. I, I really don't. Oh yeah, Joker. Gotta know his input on this. And I think we'll go see the Asari chick. Okay, there's like a big ass. Have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? It's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen... Gotta Oops. hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I couldn't kill the Geth. I'm glad it worked. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kind of hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Legion. Except Legion. Yeah. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed. So, yeah. The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that he did refer to himself as I. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. 
but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. <laughs> Commander? I was gonna say, like, I don't know where her theory's coming from, per se, given that essentially what it boiled down to was the Quarians. Oh, yeah, why is it? Yeah, because I'm trying to think of why the Quarians attacked them in the first place. And, oh, yeah, that's right, because the guests started, like, upgrading themselves and altering themselves in a way that the Quarians did not want, so their, their idea was oh, shit, they're gonna eventually turn on us at some point. And then the Geth basically said, well, I mean, it's either we fight, we, you know, try to defend ourselves, or... Barroom, Perseus Fail, Kelston Rift, Hades Nexus. Have I not been to these places? But yeah, essentially it boiled down to them like, okay, well, if we don't fight back, we're all gonna die, we don't want to die, so we have to fight back. something. Apparently I haven't been here. What do you got for me? Well, it's freaking Hong Kong. Probably fuel. Evasion successful. We've got a whole bunch of systems to go through here. Signal confirmed. Obelisk of Karza. Eluded. Okay, I can't do it that way. Jump successful. Ah, damn it, I hesitated. Evasion successful. It's like when you're driving a car and you're about to like pull out onto uh, basically where oncoming traffic is. You hesitate for a second. You're like, nope, can't do it now because I hesitated. Reapers eluded. You some tiny systems. I found something. Loop. Let's well, forget leap zig or lip zig. Oh, the Reapers just dropped the base. That's Time to flee. Jump successful. <laughs> what the hell is this? this is tiny? Signal confirmed. Berthian Sphere. A nearly atmosphereless, tidally locked planet orbiting a red dwarf star. Okay, so there's only going to be one Reaper that shows up. Yeah, all right, yeah, we need to flee out of here. Successful. Like so? How much fuel? 380, not bad. All right, time to get the fuck out of here. Eluded. Sit this place up, see if we can find anything here. Balor. I found something.
Search unsuccessful. No active power source or evident of recent habitation is unlikely. Dr. Garneau can be found here. Continue your search. Garneau is not located in this system. Who the hell is Dr. Garneau? Faster than light. <laughs> yeah, cause I, was, I just thought for a second, like, wait, I can't actually get out of here that way. Okay, so there's the other two things. Evasion successful. Oh man, that's gonna make this tricky as shit. Let's see, why would I do that? Yeah, I straight up just cannot get out of there. Reapers eluded. Oh yeah, I'm generally gonna have to wait to actually get back there. Shit. Guess there's nothing here. Is this that one system where there were two of them and Yeah it was. Actually, let me head back here. I'm gonna try to get the things. Jump successful. Okay, let's. Evasion successful. Okay, apparently I can't escape because if I hit escape, it just takes me back here. Reapers eluded. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Actually, I got an idea. I might have an idea. Probably gonna fail. But on the other hand, if it does fail, at least we'll get to see what happens if the Reapers catch us. Okay. And what, what especially sucks is I can't exactly alter how I enter the system. Although what I may have to do is just do one of the DLCs and then head back because I already have the thing scanned. Oh, okay. So yeah, you just straight up die. Okay. Faster than light jump successful. Actually, let me see if I can get to that planet. I might have to. Oh shit! Okay, maybe not. Evasion successful. Yeah, I'm. I, w I won't be able to get to that. I think that one's new. Argos Row. Yeah, this is definitely new. Hydra, El Hydra. Eluded. Let's go down here to Gorgon. Signal confirmed. Okay, there's a fuck ton of Reapers are going to be popping up here. Advanced power relays. Well, that's everything here. Sweet. I found something. Sestra Base Pinnacle Station.
Infantry and Spec Ops seem sweet. That's only 33. Ah, oh, hell. Fossilize whatever the hell that is. Oh shit. Run, run, run. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Okay, there it is. Okay, that dude's coming in a little quick. Reapers eluded. How much fuel? 450, very nice. Yeah, that's almost a full tank right there. Faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. There we go. Evasion successful. Escaped. Turn some units of fuel. That's fifty percent. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. I wonder where the hell is that. Evasion successful. It's got to be on one of those planets, I imagine. There it is. There it be. Reapers eluded. Haptic Optics Array. Alright, let's hightail it out of here. Faster than light jump successful. Any other systems that have been unlocked? Or that we haven't been to yet? I think here we haven't been to. something. At least here I can scan without worry of uh, the Reapers popping up. Dr. Jellies? And there is a crap ton of systems here. And yeah, we should be alright fuel-wise. Yeah, let's start with this far one off to the side here. Signal confirmed. I hope there's a fuel thing here. That would be nice. Rings of a loon. No, oh, never mind, the Reapers are here. Ten thousand credits. Okay, may as well scan here. Three hundred seventy five. Eh, not bad. Evasion successful. Should be enough for me to get back.
Then we'll buy some fuel, and then we'll go to that top one, and then just kind of work our way down. Seems to be the most productive way to do it, I feel. Well, I could go that way, but yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Either which way. I found something. Holy shit, like one scan, and they all like, Oh shit, they're over here! Get them! What do you got for me, planets? Elcor Flotilla. That is a very wide formation they have. Alright, got them both. Faster than light jump successful. Blip. Code of the Ancients. Ooh, Nelly. Fuck out of there. Alright, now to get, I'm assuming that's fuel. 175. Alright, go, go, go. Reapers eluded. On to Nahuala. And I said that wrong. That plan took a second to render. Sarah's Guard. Than light jump successful. Nice, I'm assuming this is one. Wreckage. The Asari once had enormous solar collectives around the bluish white AOV star Loro P. Let me scan this one way over here. I found something. Our Molly Sniper unit. Nope, that was it. Holy sh! Wow, that was ungodly fast. <laughs> Good grief, that was. Past. Yeah, I should do a serpentine next time. Okay, so we know this planet's one. I found something. Good <laughs> God. I knew they were fast, but Jesus. And the other one's like what over here? Yeah. Damn it! Making this more difficult than it needs to be. Oh yeah, let's see how fast that bastard is again! Yeah, that one's just Evasion absurdly fast. But you can see, he was moving faster than the other ones were. Yeah, we don't even need to buy fuel. Sweet. This trip paid for itself. Okay, I want to say that's all the systems. And it was base. I believe that one didn't have anything in it. And Nema Cluster, we're not going to be able to do anything with.
Line stacks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, let's start off at Purgatory. To Purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. God told me no, and Satan told me no, so I'm going to Purgatory. Hey, you. I recovered the code of the Ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. With shock and joy, really, this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. Sincerely, this will greatly aid our people. Yay. We did a good thing. Yeah, is anyone else we need to jabber jaw to? Doesn't look like it. Uno momento. Oh, I can clear off some of these active tidbits. Oh yeah, we got quite a few. All right, so apartments is where the war strategist is at. Now arriving at yeah, I believe it's that Solarian dude. Yeah, this dude up here. Actually, I found a Cacliosaurus skull preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it, or... You're kidding? You're kidding. Seriously? Well, um, if, if the genetic material is intact, we could... Hmm. We've got cloning facilities on Sarkesh. Cacliosaur genes were remarkably pliable. Cloning might be effective. Sweet. Okay, and then this other one... It's in the courtyard with Tali. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. That's going to help immeasurably with some very sensitive work. That's good. Where the hell is Tali at? Oh, and I think I missed it, but if you uh, come here early enough, you'll actually find... Um, if you remember that Asari matriarch that worked as a bartender, the one that had... I believe she had a Krogan for a father... Um, you actually find out that she, this is weird to say it like this, but she was uh, uh, Liara's father. Or, quote, father, what, you know, however the Asari thing works. Speaking of Liara, there she is. Hello, Shepard. Not one for many words, are you? Okay, so where is Tally at again? She's at number four, so she's up... Excuse me, she's up there. Or maybe she's up top? Because I don't see her down there. Oh, yeah, there she is. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. See, sick isn't confident. Yeah, they were back then. I think now they're a bit better. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. 
I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. <laughs> Let's remind him. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We are at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. Hmm. Everything looks so peaceful. Defense drone unlocked. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. Do you wish to name the first hat that to the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> that's wonderful, my sister. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so is that all of them? Almost. Oh, yeah, that's why I already helped her, didn't I? The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hat set to the one who helped her. Okay, so now all these babies are going to be named Shep Shepard. Yeah, I think that's everybody down here we can, quote, help. Oh, wait, isn't there one up here? Yeah, I keep forgetting about this area because it's kind of detached from the rest of it. I think I've already helped her, haven't I? So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Yeah, yeah, I have already. Excellent. I knew they'd find something. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. Yeah, I think that's it for here. Oh, actually, I could just check the dang map. See, we got a refugee to go say hi to there. And a consultant there. And, of course, we got to go see the Asari counselor. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Go to Huerta, then we'll go to... The docking area, and then we'll go talk to the Asari counselor. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Excuse me. I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in Bay D-24. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. All right, sweet. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. Okay, now where is this person at? Area 4, so way back there. David. Oh, it's you, hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope, it's okay, I mean... I found a Prothean Sphere on Gay Hina. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. Sweet. Reaper forces have claimed the Argus Road cluster after heavy fighting. Reports also That may or may not be my fault considering all the scanning I was doing. All right, so let's see. In terms of my shore leave target jamming technology, chemical treatment. All right, so we've got like three more to do. 
But my guess is that comes to the liter. Now, as far as the main story goes, this is actually where I'm at on my off-screen playthrough. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to the Asari Counselor, and then I'm going to jump into the other two DLCs. And then we shall go from there. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst. Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. True. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. Uh, yeah, it could be like, you know, a complete and utter douchebag. Like, oh, now you decide to help. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. So we gotta go to Thessia, aka the Asari homeworld. That would also be the last race that we need to directly help. Slayers, we didn't really directly help. But they were, but I would say they were largely tied into the whole uh, Krogan tidbit. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Something else arrives. We haven't really fought Cerberus in a while. It feels like. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Okay, I've already spoken to him. Turn to Normandy, yes. Actually, before we do that, we run down to the docking or the shuttle bay. Do some schlopping. Submission can hide barrel. Yes, please. <clears throat> Kestrel helmet. My own capacity by 10. Problem is, I don't like the way it looks. My own capacity plus 10. Man, fuck it, we can afford it, even if I don't use it. I can only blade three. I shall pause the video while I do all this. Okay, I got all my purchases done. I got about a lot of shit. Oh, they switched my loadout again, those sons of bitches. And 13 or after. Or after, bleh. Where 
right. I'm actually curious if that one's better. Oh, uh, one way to find you out. God, that thing weighs a fuck ton. Yeah, pulse rifle. M76 Revenant. Okay. And weapon upgrades. Which one was that sniper rifle I was talking about? Uh, the Raptor. Alright, Raptor, where are you? After rank five, may as well upgrade the Cerberus Harrier. I've got all this money, I may as well spend it. I believe Disciples one that What's Her Face uses. Uh, she uses the scorpion. Get that up to rank four, I think. Same with the other one. Do we use? I think that's it. All right, so let's see how good this other one is. It's <laughs> significantly war yeah, all around. It's about the same. Oh, I hold up. We got the mods. Capacity is still slightly less. Fire rate's a little bit better. Damage is the same. Accuracy, ah, accuracy is the exact same. Thing weighs a lot. Has next to no capacity. Has a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, I'll stick to this one. Let's see, armor wise. That one would really improve my headshot damage. Yeah, I'll stick with that. I think otherwise, yeah, sensory interface I'm keeping, I think. Recon, whoa, wow, that would really improve my weapon damage. What does that one offer? Shield boost. Yeah, I'll keep my shield boost. Besides, ammo-wise, we do, we do pretty damn well. Sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. 
Indeed. See his chance, got anything to say, or is he still- yeah, he's still up. Oh yeah, and then I also bought the aquarium, so let's go see how that looks. Otherwise, yeah, this is a fairly quiet video. Minus the chasing. Yep, there are my fishies. Got our little aquarium going. I bought the VI thing that's supposed to auto-feed them, or make sure the thing's adjusted and whatnot. I see they're actually going to the food. <laughs> I like it. Okay, and I have... I think there's like three of the model things remaining. Oops. Nope. Nothing there. Well, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> really? Is there anything else I can mess with in here? <laughs> yeah, if you can flush the toilet. <laughs> well, alrighty folks, I'm going to end this video here, so I shall see you all next time. We're, we're going to jump into one of the DLCs. I'm thinking it'll be the one where we help uh, Dr. Bryson. Yeah, that'll probably be the one we'll do. So anyway, folks, have a look up lights. This has been Mass Effect 3, and I shall see you all in the next video.